guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it is night time at Hachiuchi, Tokyo. It's about 9.38 or so. Um, so, feels pretty late to me. Um, I guess jet lag's actually getting to me now. I felt it around 6 or 7. I was starting to actually get kind of sleepy. It's early, but not too early. So I'm doing pretty well with the jet lag, um, actually. Um, so... Mm. So after we finished our shopping, we got back on the bus and we came back. Um, and after that, I kind of just, uh, I just kind of relaxed in my room a little bit, like winding down, because it was a lot to dig in. It was a lot of walking, um, a lot of exploring. And um, after that, <laughs> oh, we have a group chat for the dorm. And someone um, asked if we, they wanted to go, if, if I wanted to go to a sushi place. Um, so we made plans to meet at 7 to go to a sushi place. And we got back from shopping earlier around 5-ish or so, give or take. Um, so we, we met up at 7 and went to the bus stop. We went a little later. Left a little air seven because the bus, the timing for the bus when it came and it's cold out. So we went seven something. I don't know exactly when. And we waited a little bit and the bus came and picked us up. Um, I can use my smart pass now. Um, and we went to a sushi place and it's a very pop. I forgot what it's called, but it's very popular here because it's very cheap. It's one of those um, conveyor belt sushi places. And it's hyakuen, a dollar, dollar per plate, with some exceptions. Um, so we got in there, we sat at a table, and it's really cool too. They have um those machines where you put in so much change and you get like a little ball with a prize, like a keychain or you know stuff like that. Um, so they have them outside the shop, and they have them at the top of every table, and um. At the end, after you eat your meal, you um, insert your plates into a slot on the table, and it counts how many plates you have. And I think when you put in like at least like three or four plates, it at this screen, this display, it uh, does like a, a slot machine or a guy finding an alien or a monster. And if you get all three in the slot machine, or the guy beats the alien or monster, you get a prize from like the little machine. It, like it drops down. Two girls at our table actually won, so that was re it was really cute. We're all like, "Oh, is it gonna beat the monster? Oh, you gonna get the last one?" It was really funny. The first time, the first person put the plates, um, it was rolling. One of the girls said, "She's like, oh yeah, you never won at this. Like you never won." And then, um, then she won. <laughs> we all started laughing. Um, but it was super nice. Um. The plates just go around, you pick it up, or you can, on the display, you can choose what you want, and it'll come down a conveyor belt and stop at where you're sitting. Um, I only had, like, three plates of food and dessert. Um, it was really, really filling. I had, the first thing I had was, like, epi sushi, which is, like, shrimp on top of sushi. It wasn't, like, the big one. It was, like, two small ones on top of the rice. And then I had, um... Inari, which is, it's like tofu wrapped around rice, and it's like one of my favorite things, so I was really excited about that. And then the last thing I had was sashimi, and it was salmon, and that was really good too. Um, and then for my dessert, I can't remember what it was called, it was like a milk or tofu donut, but it was the consistency of a cream puff, basically, the donut was. It wasn't like, you know, like the cake or the egg donuts, it was like a cream puff. Um, and they like a little ball of ice cream. And the ice cream kind of tasted different. It was interesting. Because I know like milk's different here. And dairy's not like really, really big here. So it was like different tasting. But it was, it was really good. And I really enjoyed it a lot. Oh, they also had the table. They have a can of matcha. You know, like the green tea. And it was powder. And you have a little, like a really small scoop. And you scoop, like you get these cups, you know, with water. And afterward, I guess in your fish water, you scoop some of the matcha and put it into your cup. And then you have a, a little faucet sink at, like, the end of the table. 
then you fill your cup with hot water so you can make your own green tea like around your table so that was really that's really nice they had that i didn't get any um but it looked really good and really nice um so that was a really cool experience we weren't there for too long it was like an hour or so maybe less probably less we were there it doesn't take long to eat um there um but it was really it was good it was really cheap it's only you know like a hundred dollars for each I mean, hundred dollars is shocking. Like, hundred yen for each plate, or dollar each plate. So, I was only like four dollars for everything I had. Um, I was pretty full. So, I can see why it's so popular. I've heard it's very popular with male students, and um, all the other dorms besides ours are really close to it, so they can definitely walk to it. Um, and I can see like if you don't want to make your own food. How you would do that, why you would go there so often. Um, but yeah, and then after that, we just came back to the dorm, basically. Um, so today was, it was really fun, but a little bit overwhelming. Um, especially in the beginning of the day when we were shopping. I had to speak so much Japanese. Um, but it was, it was a really, it was surprising um, and really rewarding, um, to to speak Japanese like that, because, um, in my speaking abilities, I feel very unconfident in my ability, but, um, there were times when I was speaking with the students, and our conversations were very back and forth, very fluent going, um, and that was such a great feeling to feel like I could have like, even if it's just an easy conversation, a normal conversation with someone for two minutes or more at least, you know, it's, um, it may be like a small feat, but it's a feat itself, so I was really excited with that. I felt, um, proud of myself, you know, I've, I have a lot to learn, but I've always felt embarrassed trying to speak because I feel like my Japanese speaking is so poor. And, um, I felt comfortable today speaking with people, and it made me feel really good, um, while doing so. So, it's encouraging. It's so encouraging. It makes me, it just, it just feels so good. Um, so if you want to study abroad, and it's because of a language, and you're kind of hesitant, I recommend it so much after today. Um, you know... It's, I mean, it is my second day here, but it's only been, like, a day I've actually been, been here. And, um, I've already, I already feel like I'm improving, you know, um, and so, immersion, immersion is key, apparently. <laughs> um, I didn't realize it till today, you know, like, you, I, I say it to people, um, how great immersion is, but you don't really know how great it is until you until it's actually happening to you. So I was really excited by that. Um, that was, I guess, one of my favorite moments today was speaking with people. Um, and all the so again, all the SOGA students are so friendly, they're so nice, they're so welcoming. They make you feel that you have a community and that you're home at SOGA. And that's so great to have that. Um, at my university, I think people could work on that towards the international students. I've seen both wide acceptance and also at the same time um, people kind of being not nice about um, study abroad students. Like, not like super mean, but kind of like they don't engage in them. They could be a lot more welcoming. I think that's something that could be worked on. Um, in the U.S. But, um, yeah, today was really fun. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow is, um, orientation. We're taking in, um, like, information about our passports and residency cards and, um, medical record stuff. Um, so maybe kind of boring, but it's also, I think there's a welcoming part of it. So I know that's going to be fun because, um, 
all the balcony stuff so far has been really really nice and I'm really really excited but um I hope you guys tune in next time um because I guess I'm going to talk about whatever happens tomorrow <laughs> um thanks for sticking with me if you want to the end of this video I know they're really really long and again I'm really really sorry but it's a lot to talk about and again I don't want to miss any detail so um like subscribe down below um and get ready for the next story here that I can use them as my fourth basically um it's more common here anyway I got like a case